Grand Club to Massive Brothers and Sisters. We are finally back. We finally made it to another one. Another reaction on the one only Mr. Lit reaction. I got big about yourself for definitely tuning in to this here vibrations. I do appreciate every single one of you guys. By the way, talk about a hand clap, brothers and sisters. Happy birthday goes out to Ebony News right there. I definitely have to do that. Of course, I wish you all the best. And of course, in your devils as well. Put the most high first, as always. And of course, everything else will be added onto you right there. So, Emily, you speak up yourself one time on your birthday today. But of course, welcome to every single one of you guys who do it. We're definitely part of DC Vibrations. Don't forget to click the thumbs up button. And of course, if you're not done so, brothers and sisters, subscribe and turn on that post notifications so you can get the latest vibrations when they tend to come through right there. I would appreciate that 150 billion percent because that also helps the channel to grow further and further in that regard right there. Anyways, brothers and sisters, without a further ado, let us get into the vibrations for today right there. Of course, brothers and sisters, I saw something rather interesting when it comes into the whole celebration that has happened under the DLP ticket, under Skerritt, under the I don't know what's going on, brothers and sisters, but things are happening. And I saw this very interesting post right there and I thought, yeah. That is Zex. That's exactly what it actually is. Because on the shirt, there was somebody sitting on their brothers and sisters in the conference of sorts that they had. And they apparently seem to be bandwagoning, you know, as usual. They don't know why they just bandwagoning brothers and sisters. Anyways, they say labor a future of really and truly brothers and sisters. Labor has been in power for what? The past 24 years? <laughs> yes. And um, they have not been doing well, especially under the leadership of Skerritt. And it's very clear to see that there is doom. No, you don't have to believe me, you know, brothers and sisters. This, of course, was not the shirt, but somebody really put that there. And I say that really looks to be pretty much exactly the same. I mean, when you look at Dominica and what is taking place in Dominica, you are clearly seeing doom. <laughs> There is nothing for the elevation of the people who are presently working. There's nothing for the elevation and the possibility of potential for the very people who are not working. They are not even potential, Misaki. Well, there's potential. I have to take that back. There's always potential, but there's a lack of opportunity that is not being created as a result of the potential. Even for the very youth that are coming up. It's very interesting how the youth are being treated. We'll talk about that in a moment, brothers and sisters. Keep it locked. But of course, this is very vital right there. To understand what it seems like for some reason or the other, Skerritt seems to be in some other world that has nothing to do with present reality. Brothers and sisters, as I always tell you guys, it is not what somebody says, it is what they do. It is not what you feel, but it's the objective reality of what you see. Now it's very clear that Skerritt, I think this one was during the airport situation, groundbreaking. Individuals are making it very clear. Mr. Lix, why are they doing groundbreaking right now? Shouldn't it make sense to do groundbreaking when you actually finish the, um, what are you going to again? The tarmac, is the tarmac? The, fee, um, the runway, brothers and sisters. It will make sense that you finish, do the runway, and then you can possibly come and say, okay, this is what is happening. We are doing a groundbreaking ceremony, brothers and sisters, and so forth and so forth. Because it seems like they just want, maybe after the whole um, um, runway is finished, they're going to be doing another a groundbreaking ceremony. Wasting people's money. I don't know. I don't know. Oh boy. You think you think it's for free they do that, brothers and sisters? You have to pay to come there. Not pay to come there. No, you have, they have to pay to do this whole groundbreaking thing, you know. I remember one time they had the groundbreaking ceremony of one of the bridges that fell down. <laughs> Before it fell down, the whole renovation had happened. I think that was in um I think it's, it's Salisbury, it's Salisbury area. No. Um Makushri brothers and sisters, the Makushri Bridge, yes, I was there, <laughs> you know, they had a groundbreaking ceremony for the Makushri Bridge. <laughs> the Makushri Bridge, brothers and sisters, was renovated and they had a groundbreaking ceremony. And a few months later, you know, Tropical Storm Erica come and take down the bridge. But they had, I think it was about thirty to $40,000 to have that groundbreaking ceremony. They, they had snacks and stuff, there for sure, which most likely... Would mean that mo the groundbreaking ceremony that they had in the airport probably cost about fifty thousand dollars. So it's not too far fetched to say that you know, monies have been spent, monies that could actually be used to at least buy some paracetamol and put in the hospital. I'm not an advocate for paracetamol, brothers and sisters, because I think I know a little too a little too much about that thing right there. So I'd advise people not to take it. But you know, in certain measures, of course, different bodies respond differently to different things. So you get the drift right there, brothers and sisters. But 
in this instant, right there, brothers and sisters, I think it's vital that we understand something based on what I just indicated a while ago about objective reality. Listen to Scary. A lot of things are happening in Dominica. Scary is saying a lot of things is happening in Dominica. Now, the reason why I'm saying scary because I didn't see his face to literally say this. I don't know who the camera people are, but they suck. You guys need to be fired because it's on the basis of the object. Anyways, there's a whole lot of teaching lesson right here. But we heard Scarrett's voice, okay? So Scarrett is saying there's a lot of things that are happening in Dominica. Now, I would wonder what exactly he's talking about, but I think he's going to expound on that. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Labor Katwavai. Labor Katwavai. Labor is working. Is Labor is working, he's saying. Working in the country. Labor is working in the country. The people that don't have jobs, there's very little jobs. You're not getting paid adequately. Even... Let me start from the beginning. Brothers and sisters, one thing when you're trying to find a job in Dominica and you finally get a job. You finally, it's hard to do that. A lot of people tend to leave. So that is a reality in Dominica. A lot of people are leaving Dominica when it comes down to looking for jobs. Another thing is to find a job, brothers and sisters. When you find a job, alas, you don't get paid adequately. You don't get paid adequately. The only set of people that are getting paid adequately is the Prime Minister them and they themselves getting per diems on top of their payments not including the sixty-four thousand dollars that apparently they are getting on the house that is they are renting from the dominican people <laughs> anyway brothers and sisters i just find this whole fiasco strange because scary is coming and telling people that labor is working and the people themselves are suffering the people are suffering people are making noise even to the point where an individual made a threat we'll get into this in a moment brothers and sisters but when it comes down to labor is working, it seems like that is the only way that labor is working because labor seems to be an event planner. You know, they bring CEO to this spot, brothers and sisters. CEO, and it's interesting to watch these things, brothers and sisters, because people are enjoying themselves in the midst of their struggles. You would think this is a teaching moment, no, brothers and sisters. These are people that are delusional, or these people are not even living in Dominica. Because we have heard that some individuals came down for this groundbreaking ceremony thing. And they don't live in Dominica. They came down for it. They dress up in their red clothes or whatever. And they leave the next day. They're in celebration mode. And the Dominicans are leaving. Also enjoying it as well. <laughs> Yo. That is crazy right there. Brothers and sisters, what exactly are the people? What 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 are, what are they enjoying? What, what they, it, oh. that's how let me move on. Eh? I'm moving on. Anyways, brothers and sisters, this is scary again when you're saying about. Well, this is what he said. Uh, people sometimes ask me why we don't have factories in Dominica. There are many reasons, but one of the reasons is that factories require. Brothers and sisters, I know we don't have factories in Dominica, right? We don't have factories in Dominica. We used to. We used to have a lot of factories in Dominica. I, I even think we had Coca-Cola factory in Dominica at one point in time. The memory is so vague and faint. Vague, it's faint, brothers and sisters. We had a lot of factories in Dominica. We don't have them anymore. Right? Now, to me, just... just uh, electricity. A lot let's of electricity. Go back. There are many reasons, but one of the reasons is that factories require electricity. A lot of electricity. And when our electrical rates are among the highest in the world, it is uncompetitive. By delivering more affordable energy, we enable small-scale agro-processing to develop in our country. Let's dissect that. People sometimes ask me why we don't have factories in Dominica. Yeah, it makes sense, considering Dominica has a lot of produce that can then turn into something, just like what Antigua is doing with Dominica plantains. They are taking Dominica plantains, the raw plantain in Dominica, they're bringing it into Antigua. They're turning the plantain into chips, plantain chips, brothers and sisters. And then they're packaging the plantain from Dominica and they're calling it Antiguan plantain chips. Even though the plantain itself, which is the main ingredient, is from Dominica. They could say the Dominica Antigua plantain chips. No. They say the Antigua plantain chips and they are selling it overseas. So, in other words, if they are getting plantain for $5. They are selling the chips for $15, making three times more than what they would make or what Dominica could potentially make if it actually looked into that 
for itself. So where are the factories, brothers and sisters? Apparently they are overseas. And Scarity is now telling us that people are asking him, <laughs> why aren't there factories in Dominica? In a place that is full of the potential for agro-processing. And he's giving us a reason why. And his reason is Dominic. <laughs> there are many hey. reasons, but one oh, of the on. reasons is that factories require electricity. Factories require electricity. Now, brothers and sisters, correct me if I'm wrong. And I could be dead wrong here, but I know I'm not wrong. <laughs> that is a very interesting dilemma right there. Wasn't Scarrett the one who took over Domlek? Wasn't, 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 they, they didn't buy back Dominica shares or, or whatever they did to obtain Domlek, brothers and sisters? Huh? Saying Dominica has a right to its own electricity, and I agree. But if we have to end up paying more than we were paying back in the day when the foreigners themselves had it, I think we should give it for free. We should give back Domlek. For free, brothers and sisters, we are about to increase prices again <laughs> on dumb like electricity consumption. Scared is telling us one of the reasons, and of course, that is the best reason he apparently, which of course would sound like the main reason. He's saying the reason why we don't have factories in Dominica is because the electricity would be high. The electricity would be high. Now, brothers and sisters, correct me if I'm wrong here again. Now, when you are making, um, you are making, okay, you have products, brothers and sisters. Wouldn't you factor in electricity as well? Wouldn't that be a factor? Because electricity would then be considered expense. And when you're doing the electricity, the electrical stuff, whatever, you factor in that so you'll know where your profits lie. You minus the expenses from the profits. Of course, electricity, water usage, all these kind of things there would be factored in into that dilemma right there. And then you know your profit margins. Your profit margins obviously would, would be um, what would also cater to the workers even getting bonuses. And so forth and so forth. And Dominica has a potential to make a lot of money when it comes down to agriculture and agro-processing. Scarlett is giving us the example and saying, you know, the reason why Dominica doesn't have factories is because of electricity. But back in the day, we had less electricity, but we had more factories. Today we have more. <laughs> we have more electricity, less factories. And Scarlett, come on and tell us. The very one who acquired Domlek is telling us the reason why we don't have factories is because of electrical consumption. Now, can you imagine over the 100, I think it's 120, no, mini, it is way more than that. But I know for a fact, it's about $120 million that have been spent on geothermal without any sort of light, light bulb lighting, brothers and sisters. You know them, you know them lighting us take out from this, 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 this um, toys, like the, your toy truck have headlights, and when it mash up, you take it out and you connect it into two batteries. Not even that, that light, brothers and sisters. So that should help you understand where we're going, spending $120 million at least. If we had to take half of that, brothers and sisters, and US dollars, you know, Mark, you, if we had to spend half of that to put solar, solar, solar stuff in, 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 in the place, you don't think that could, could, could suffice? Hmm? You don't think that could have helped? Maybe not. Maybe just me. Scared is giving us the exam, the reason, and most likely the main reason, because he said there are many reasons, but then gave that one. So obviously that would have to be the forefront one. And the forefront reason is that Dominica doesn't have the electrical capabilities to hand, handle factories, even though Dominica is needed to be able to supply, demand and supply, but have its own ability based in agriculture, and as a result, require factories. But Scarlett is saying, you know, that is not the case. But he's telling us initially. In Dominica, there is a lot of things are happening. Labor Katravai. Labor Katravai. Labor is working. Labor is working. We see the CEO. We see that for sure. That's objective reality. We see that, brothers and sisters. But we're not really seeing how many factories and the electricity really coming in right there. But forget about that, brothers and sisters. Let's say that is not the case. All right? Not the case at all. I saw this video circulating, brothers and sisters. Apparently, this is a school in Dominica, and apparently, the, the, the youths them had were doing school online, and they came back. <laughs> and that is the My. state 
my brother of this school that they came to. My brother. Labor is working. Labor is truly, truly working, brothers and sisters. So, like I mentioned about the youth earlier, on brothers and sisters, <laughs> when you're looking at the care, the care for the citizens, the care for the next generation, the care for the future generation, what exactly have you seen the Prime Minister doing to work in that regard? Anything working towards the elevation of anybody at all? Like I indicated before, the best thing for Dominicans to do is get scholarship on that scary them so they can stay overseas. And my advice to individuals who are planning to stay overseas, obviously Donald Trump is not a president of the United States. That is a good thing for individuals who are trying their best to see if there's an escape. Well, Donald Trump then wants to do something very interesting right there, and that is to give green cards to the individuals who graduate from the schools. The reason why I, I've said this before, but the reason why they have they are starting to do this is because they're very American individuals are starting to study stupidness in schools. Ridiculous foolishness leaving the actual jobs that can elevate the economy, they are leaving this to go and study foolishness in schools. No, not all of them is foolishness, don't get me wrong. Some of them actually are in need of, in need of, are in need of society, especially certain things involving certain genders and what have you, brothers and sisters. But on the basis of the mere fact of elevation of the, of the very economy, they have decided to grant green cards. I don't know when it's going to go into effect, but it will be going into effect very soon. Um, when he come, when he takes over, that's one of the things that he wants to do. Wants to do as well. So you get the opportunity for you to stay overseas and make some monies, elevate their economy, and send a little something down to Dominica. Because apparently, if you're in Dominica, you are barely trying to survive on a thousand dollars. What is the average salary for Dominicans? Brothers and sisters, can you let me know the average salary, generally speaking, overall. What is the average salary among the normal citizens, the bankers, the hoteliers? Um, 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 everybody, brothers and sisters, what would be the mid ground? There's the mean and the mid, but what would be the median salary right there? That would be very interesting to find when it comes down to Dominica. I think it's about a thousand one, a thousand two, if all that. And then Sky will come and tell you how to save. I saw the video of him talking about the fridge, you know, I was gonna put it inside it, but I forget. <laughs> so that's very interesting. But you know, that just shows where, where the priorities lie. All right, brothers and sisters, they give a nice talk. Labor can survive. And then. And when our electrical rates are any reasons, but one of the reasons is that factors require electricity. And then. My brother. You see what objective reality does? It makes you see for what is actually happening versus what is being stated. It makes, it makes you visually see, and it's interesting. I actually mentioned this on my WhatsApp today, brothers and sisters. Talking about people seeing objective reality, but they don't care about what they're seeing. What they feel, they decide to go for. You can bring the truth to individuals. People seeing it for themselves, and they're completely rejecting it. But they'll reach a point where people are fed up, brothers and sisters. And of course, this is where my next video comes in, right there. Apparently, there are some special unit forces heading to Wesley right now to assist um, Clint Rule for a comment he, he made last night on a live. Well, apparently, we have the audio right there of the live. I believe we need a militant leader. I also believe, I don't mind, I compromise myself, I cannot say it. I believe we have to look at the possibility of relishing them. No, guys, I switched the audio so you wouldn't see the actual word, but he's talking about eliminating people. He's using the keyword, but you know, he's talking about eliminating people. Interesting. Well, you feel like nothing else seems to be happening. Now, keep in mind, there's more that can be done. We'll talk about it in a moment. But he's so frustrated to the point. He doesn't care what has happened to him or will happen to him. He's literally coming on live and incriminating himself. But there's, there's ways and means you can go through this thing right there without actually incriminating yourself. But, you know, it's the words that you have stated. Who is he talking about 
right there obviously we get a general understanding as to where exactly he's talking about because of the frustration that is happening in dominica and of course this is very interesting for somebody to come on live and see they have to prove who exactly he's talking about when it comes down to the situation right there but this is not a good thing to see in any way shape or form you see brothers and sisters the reason why i'm saying this well, let's 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 continue a little bit. yes sir Well, that part might incriminate you. <laughs> but, but that's interesting. That is saying that we have reached a certain level right now. And that is the level that is going at. I do not believe that violence should be the key in any way, shape or form when it comes down to the situation. I think the people have a right, by right, for their own right, to go against the own oppressors. And the best way to do this, brothers and sisters, is to go out in large numbers. Like Donald Trump says, not just winning by a mere margin. It, has, it should be too big to rig, brothers and sisters. When the individual was meeting me, I said, Mr. Liggs, but why are you voting for an Oscar win already? And then you have a set of people saying the same thing, but Mr. Liggs, why are you going for it? Imagine these thousands of people that saying these things start to vote, brothers and sisters. The election will be too big to rig. I think that is the approach that Dominicans need to have. They all need to go out and vote. Even though they bring in how much people outside to come in to vote for them to tell this care, brothers and sisters, it's vital because there are still people in Dominica voting for the very people right there. As you clearly see, people jumping up and enjoying themselves. Some might be from overseas, you know, when they come down for the uh, opening at the airport. It is not about doing anybody harm. In fact, if you were to eliminate the people, how are we going to get back the monies that we actually are deserving? Huh? How are we going to know exactly where these monies are? This is one of the reasons why the court session is impo important. So that we can know exactly where all the monies have gone. We can know, trace back every single dime. That is why it's so vital for the court case. A court case is one of the reasons where one way we will find out what is, uh, exactly has happened to the funds. Another thing is for the people to actually do something. And the something that they have to do is what? It's not taking out these people. These people need to stay alive. And well, they, well, whoever, feed them coconut. Don't waste no money to feed them. You know, go and get pay and thing to feed them so they can stay alive. To find out every single dime that is rightfully due to Dominica. What are you thinking about for? For what reason? Huh? And yourself, they might use that against you know, saying you say these things, you're promoting these kind of things there. And they have you lock up in jail and you're there like a Ted Calbas. For what reason? I understand there's frustration and people just get frustrated from time to time because of the actions of the few. But it is the many that is supporting the few. <laughs> or sometimes it's not even the many that's supporting the few. The minority is supporting the few. And the many are quiet. Yes, sir. Mm. The, the, the host or, or, or the thing even decided, hey, let me help you out. You should say no, not literally. You should have said that, but apparently you decided to go ahead and do this thing. To understand the plight of the people, we know how to resolve so violence. It's violence, I'll take them out there. Yes. One second, just one second. Just one second, just one second. Just one second. One second. Just 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 one second. I want to make it clear uh, that the words of Drex is not my word. And I will not be responsible of anything right. Jack say on this project. Yeah, I mean, right say. But I have to react to this because a number of folks send this to me right there, brothers and sisters. Like I did before, none of that should happen at all. It is the people. We like to blame other people and say this and that. Talking about other people, brothers and sisters, they went on a whole tirade and this kind of things, they blah, 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 in the rest of these things and what have you. But there's something rather interesting that I also saw as well. And it has to do with the United Uyghurs Party right there. Sir, brother, guys, my thing just messed up right there. But this individual is asking, what is United West Party really about? Is Dr. Thompson Fountain the leader or is he not?
because I don't get the feeling as if there's a general acceptance with all the infighting. I don't know what infighting they're talking about. I know there are disagreements and things. People have disagreements and they welcome that right there. But people keep talking about fighting and this kind of things. Eh? <laughs> Brothers and sisters, very interesting stuff right there. I think it's not necessarily individuals, but those around. Because I remember when I was talking to Dr. Thompson Fountain on the basis of that very same sentiment. People talking about, you know, there's fighting and what have you. And I told her about the individuals themselves. But it seems like it's the, the, the people, it's not the main people who are fighting, so to speak. It is those around them fighting, which is very interesting right there. You're not there. Be able to have that. But anyways, let's continue in that regard right there because a lot of people are asking certain questions. But not a lot. There's a very few among because a number of persons tend to know exactly what's happening. But of course, it's individual is thing he's saying i don't get it he or she's saying i don't get the feeling as if there's a general acceptance with all the infighting it's about time them things resolve my opinion on that linton had uh had his time i'm guessing uh, uh though brilliant with words the people the people didn't come over i'm guessing to vote for him as leader of the opposition right there he's the president but of course it is what it is i think thompson fountain work in south sudan has shown he's very capable of spearheading dominica into a prosperous CARICOM nation. I agree with that sentiment right there, but I also agree Lennox Clinton has the full capabilities as well. It's not about just saying, oh, that person is, is, is in charge of this so they can do this. No, brothers and sisters, it's about the capability factor of what somebody can do before and the sentiment of this, not the sentiment, but the, the sensibility factor that they have in doing the present work that they are able to do at present and then the potential of them doing the same thing at a bigger capacity right there because some people are above look at biden Biden is just a mockery a mockery right there. <laughs> as for that kamala lady let me even talk about that one right there there's need there needs to be a strong push on electoral reform that's true but what do you expect the people to do this is why i mentioned earlier on it is the people who are responsible for these things it's not the opposition the opposition is there to let you guys know what's going on. Hold the, hold the leaders accountable to the things, to the things that they say. If they are not holding, if, if the, lead, the, 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 the government, I should say, hold the government to the things that they say to the people. If their government is not doing it, the opposition is supposed to go to tell the people. And the people are supposed to rally to force the government to do their bidding. That is what is supposed to happen right there. It's not the opposition, brothers and sisters. It's like an electoral reform and they're asking the people to come and a few hundred showing up. You're supposed to be at least 30,000 people there showing up because electoral reform is not just for summits for everybody. For free and fair elections, you have a few, you have three, four hundred people showing up. Why is that? In a population, they say 70,000 people, three, four hundred people showing up. And you have a population, they say is about 70,000 people. Really? Boy, at least 20, 30,000 people should be showing up. If you're really serious about doing something, you want the opposition to do what? What can they do? What can they do? You want them to go house to house and talk to you and you feel in the pain? I never understood that, you know, guys. I vex. <laughs> I never understood that. Somebody in fire. Somebody outside have to come and tell you you in fire and you feel in pain in the fire. Really? You in the country that is going down the drain. Nothing much is happening for you or your children or your offspring. Nothing is happening. No elevations. You have to thank God that you get a job. And you, you thank God you get a job that is not paying you well. You have to be thankful <laughs> for that when scared can come and tell you, don't buy fridge with freeze um, 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 ice maker and thing. He tell you... <laughs> <laughs> so somebody have to come and tell you to come out from the struggle really no i understand on the basis that's natural selection and all those kind of things not natural selection human minds are made up in different forms some minds are stronger than the other but there comes a time when you have to realize when i in the fire we natural selection would have take out some of all you already we? if it wasn't for the efforts of those who are strong-minded to keep others alive and it's a hell of a thing when you see the weak-minded gain leadership position because of other weak-minded people. And then the weak-minded people are in the majority and the leader is in the majority. have a weak mind and they have the strong people living the country. 
and expect progress to happen. Brothers and sisters, there's that sentiment as well. But I, I don't want to believe that Dominicans are full of weak-mindedness. I think a lot of people are wicked, and they haven't really felt the pain yet. You see, the, the reason why I'm saying they haven't felt the pain is because sometimes, just like I, I, I did a reaction on a video, an individual was talking about that he went to the hospital, he brought his son, and he's saying, I'm not in politics and this kind of things, there, blah, blah, blah. You're not in politics, blah, 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 but the politics that are affecting you causing you to have brought your son back home. Thank God! What was happening to your son wasn't, you know, life-threatening. Because if you came there and it was life-threatening, your son would not be alive today because of the very politics that you are saying that you're not involved in. Because the very essence of the hospital revolves around politics. Having the proper things, the proper procedures, the proper policies in place so that the hospital can run effectively and efficiently. But of course... You know, those people just not really understanding. And I think that is the greatest problem right there, brothers and sisters. There needs to be a strong push for electoral reform, yes. Also, don't beat a dead horse. United Workers Party spent too much time talking about scary, not enough time talking about the bread and butter issues of the people. Who are you telling that? Me? Huh? I listened to all the plans. I had Dr. Thompson Fountain here. I need to get Lennox Linton here as well. I had them, I had a number of these folks here from United Coast Party showing their plans. We're talking about agriculture, we're talking about using um, internet and all these kind of things. The digital economy, participating in that, all these kind of things. you talking about they don't talk about the plans, really? Or you don't want to hear? Which one? I think it's you that don't want to hear because I find it very strange. And when people, you just, so you just want to reiterate over and over and over and over and then look at situations that are happening and then he, oh, forget about that. Talk about, really? I don't think no, people understand how humans work. <laughs> That's very interesting right there. Talk about the bread and butter issues of the people. The bread and butter, they have been talking about the people in jobs. Dominica is, Dominica is full of potentials that can create jobs and more jobs. And not just more jobs, but adequate paying salaries as a result of the income of the foreign exchange brothers and sisters. We are Lord Ross to, not sorry, not we. Scary them are Lord Ross to go in. They are Lord Ross to go. <laughs> no, look, Claire Harbour is here. Yeah, Claire Harbour going. Boy, I'm sure that has to do not exactly with the government, but the corresponding banks. But exactly what caused the corresponding banks to be relating to that? Not the very scary himself. Brothers and sisters, we have a leader that is not competent at all. He's not competent in what he does. He comes out there, has fanfare because the people like see ho ho. <laughs> he sees, goes back to the people. The people not understanding their priority, brothers and sisters. See what should be last, not first. They come have a little fanfare. They make sure they bring see what is this. A pity they bring triple K there. <laughs> it would have more people. <laughs> but probably they don't have the money <laughs> to pay triple K to come and do that. Anyways, let's continue right there. Start tackling the people and their needs. That's what the United Nations Party have definitely been doing. How can they do it if they're not in government? Why don't you force the present government out by voting them out? By saying enough is enough, you need to resign. If 30,000 people come together, brothers and sisters, eh? What? I remember at one point in time when they were talking about the um, electoral reform. They were talking about that same electoral reform in 2019. Unions came together, civil servants came together, a number of persons came together, all walks of life, farmers, everybody came together. You had about, let's say, about a thousand people there. And that caused the man to move a little. Can you imagine what 30,000 people would do? The man come and he say he got to have meetings and all those kind of things there to talk to the people. I told you guys he's wasting time. Five years later, we are still talking about electoral reform. <coughs> Anyways, start tackling the people that, that the individual saying low wage per hour. And plans to make it competitive like our sister CARICOM nations, enticing more foreign companies to help make the competitive wage a reality. 15 US dollars an hour for low entry positions. You saying all this, none of this will happen if scary them is still in power. None of this. The only way to make a change, brothers and sisters, is to take them, scare them out. And they believe they have a monopoly on election right now. Even if that they are planning to rig it or whatever, brothers and sisters, like I indicated before. Like Donald Trump would say, let it be too big to rig. The people have to come out in large numbers and vote them out. Have nothing to do with taking people's life and this kind of thing. That is foolish. 
You need them alive for them to first find the money. But you need to definitely get the people to come together. People, we have to wake up. We have to understand that. If we don't wake up and understand that, we'll be in the same position every year, year in, year out. The man promised in 2019 to give electoral reform, having meetings and all those kind of things. They call elections. <laughs> Election call twice. <laughs> in 2019 and 2022. Elections call. Brothers and sisters, I think we need to wake up and understand what exactly is going on. Because, you know, a number of us just really, we, we, we just... We <laughs> Anyways, keep the tax income threshold too at 25. Domin First of all, Dominica should not even pay, pay income tax. We pay tax on, 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 on the products and this kind of things there. What are you paying income tax for? I pay tax on my salary, then I have to pay, income, I have to pay tax again on, on goods and services that I buy. Make that make sense for me, please. You see, that is again conditioning. People are conditioned to believe that that is okay. People are conditioned. I watch, one of the things that I like to do is look at history and how taxation happened. I like to look from the United States point of view. And how it happened when they wanted to put 2% tax on milk. And there was a large uproar, brothers and sisters. Today, <laughs> today the almost of taxes people have paid. Eh. Eh. 18% <laughs> on your salary, 24% on your salary. 43, 35% on your salary alone. And then we have to go and buy goods and all those kind of things. You have to pay fees and all sorts of extra things. Brothers and sisters, it came from 2%. This is what the people allowed. Just like we have VAT in Dominica. By the way, it was the Democrats who were putting the 2% on the milk. Eh? <laughs> Just letting you guys know. Just like we had VAT, brothers and sisters. VAT was not supposed to stay there long. What was supposed to address something that they, say, that they claim was happening? We still have VAT today. <laughs> and they're increasing. They know, not just VAT. No. They have additional fees on your water. They're going to put 2.5% on electricity. <laughs> okay, no. Boy, that is something else. Because people, I, people, only, only. Let me continue. People crying about the port duties, cost of goods in the stores. Lack of top health. I look at this. I just talk about that. All the money they're using to go in and have and ground breaking and people go and dance. Oh, they come in and see war. And they forget if they fall sick and they end up in the hospital, there's a huge probability factor that they will end up passing away. But this is one of the things with me when it comes down to health. I look at my health very seriously. I look at my health very seriously. Anywhere I travel, I don't want to ever know to possibly anything can happen, you know, brothers and sisters. Anything can happen. But I and I have health insurance, not in Dominica, it overseas. But still, I don't want nothing to happen to me at all. If I had an accident, this kind of things there, yes, that 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 you know, things you cannot control. But things you can control when it comes down to your health, brothers and sisters, you have to do the same thing in Dominica. You have to take your supplements, vitamin D, vitamin B12. Some of all you lacking vitamin B12 for sure. Some of all you are lacking vitamin B12. I know. <laughs> no. I can tell when people lack in vitamin B12. Go and look at what, what is the benefit of vitamin B12. And you understand my sentiment right there. Are you lacking B12? Are you lacking vitamin D? Are you lacking vitamin C and lacking, lacking vitamin A? This is why I always tell people get CMOS. Get CMOS. CMOS has about 92 minerals and nutrients that the body needs as one of the things but you also need additional stuff as well you need the, 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 the thing and sometimes we are eating food thinking that the food that we're eating has the nutrients in it no brothers and sisters i was talking to an agricultural individual and he's talking about growing things organically right growing things organically so it'll have the nutrients from the soil and all those kind of things there sometimes what they do especially in the haitians i think they tend to do this they force ripe stuff and the force ripe stuff that has the nutrients in the food it doesn't have it at all, brothers and sisters. So even though you're eating the food and you're thinking, boy, I get my nutrients, sometimes the food we eating have no nutrients. So although your body's been filled with the food that you're eating, it is not getting the nutrients, and as a result, your body gets sick because your body requires nutrients. That's why I tell individuals, take supplements. Yes. I was not an advocate for supplements, brothers and sisters. But I remember something happened to me when it comes down to my throat. I'm checking that's so strange, man. That was that's probably like 10 years ago. 
<laughs> Something happened to my throat. I take him, but how my throat feeling like that? That's kind of crazy, man. You know? And I decided to go to the doctor finally, man. Because I check in, I check in. That's a passing. No, not a passing phase. And I go to the doctor and all those kind of things. And the doctor telling me that I need to take this thing. I need to take this, this supplement because I'm lacking. This is what I'm lacking. And when I did some research on that, I realized that's a common thing. A number of black people lack vitamin D. Lack vitamin, they lack zinc, magnesium, and they lack, yeah, I think this is the three things. Vitamin D, zinc, and magnesium. So brothers and sisters, you guys are my family right there. All the individuals watching and subscribe. I always pass on the knowledge to you guys. Although this was not supposed to be this, but it came into a health lesson. But let it be so, man. Let it be so, brothers and sisters. Try your best not to get sick. Now in that Dominican area, please. Get your supplements. If you have to buy it on Amazon, make sure it's natural stuff. Eh? Plant-based stuff. You don't want no additional artificial crap. You know, you have to be careful out there, brothers and sisters. But let me just read this before I leave. Right there. People crying about the poor duties, cost of goods in the stores, lack of top health care after these years, brothers and sisters, the modern times that we're living in. These things need to be tackled in a drumbeat on this, until it's ingrained in the people. So the people don't know they, they're supposed to get. Well, they do tend to talk about these things. Yeah, brothers and sisters, they do tend to talk about these things. I know because I've listened to so many programs from time to time. And I know that they tend to talk about these things. It's when you don't talk about it. It's kind of like when people watch my videos. <laughs> Let me just read the part. That you go in, uh, that you go into war for them to get things right. Okay, great, wonderful. It is the people, not them. It's the people. Anyways, like I was indicated before, sometimes when I look at, 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 at certain things and I'm, I'm I'm thinking to myself, boy, what 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 is the next step? What where, where where is the next elevation? You know, that we can move on to. What would be the, the ideal factor to move on to brothers and sisters? Everything resides in the people. Nothing else, nothing more, nothing else. We might make noise, we scare it. Just like when sometimes we see this police come and we're making noise in the police. This police sometimes don't even want to be there. But they send them, they have to obey their commanders, whoever, if their commanders corrupt or whatever. They're sending them commanders, not there, no? They're sending those other people. Boy, I was going to say something, but I, I, I don't want them to do it. Because sometimes I listen to my videos and they're doing the same thing. <laughs> and people are easy, boy. But it's very interesting when you look at Dominica brothers and sisters and how things are going in Dominica. And you tend to wonder, but aren't the people seeing? Yes. They're seeing. They're seeing, brothers and sisters. But it's just that one, people are lazy. Checking, oh, that nothing. Uh, it, that's how it is in Dominica. So just leave it alone. Two, the corruption that is taking place in Dominica is very high. And Dominicans have been affected by it. Affected by it, corresponding banks, the very corresponding banks we would. <sighs> and the level of trickery and, and people not knowing the priorities, I think that is a huge factor when it comes down to Dominica. A lot of people don't know the, the, actual, the actual need for them to actually know what is taking place and have the priorities in, um, um, straightened. They just, you know, just. <laughs> well, guys, these are, these are just my thoughts, man. Um, hopefully, uh, the individual in that clip, um, sir, uh, hopefully nothing happens to you. I know you didn't, you probably didn't really mean it. <laughs> I do. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's not the way to do it at all. Especially if one individual was willing to get up and stand up and be a part of the 30,000 and you're in jail. What are you going to do? Huh? Testify? What, 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 what are you doing? Do not incriminate yourself for the ideologies of foolish men. Do not incriminate yourself. Kind of like when I was in high school, brothers and sisters. <laughs> I sometimes end up in fights with people. But I'm making sure I was always right. Hey, <laughs> you hit me first. <laughs> you have to hit me first for you to get decali for me. <laughs> you can talk all your... Well, if you talk in my... That a particular partner, we cool now. Um, he was, he was just... I, my head was hitting me at that time, and I tell you, I lied on anybody, but shouting in my head. I tell my brother, stop, stop, he doesn't hear, stop. He come back and he shot in my head. At the time, I know about the certain things. So I, bow, you know, <laughs> in his stomach. <laughs> and, you know, there was peace. <laughs> Let's just see that right there. Anyways, brothers and sisters, what are your thoughts in this regard right there? Um, let me know your thoughts in the comment box below. If you understand what I'm saying, give this thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate that. And of course, like I did before, 
subscribe brothers and sisters turn on our post notifications so you can get the latest vibrations when they tend to come through but of course as the great book says live peaceable for men but it's vital that we understand what we're living in and what needs to be done to remove corrupt individuals just like i always some of all you guys don't like me talk about kamala that, that's all your business <laughs> who can stop me you no anyways brothers and sisters with this situation kamala kamala them raised about 1.4 billion dollars 1.4 billion dollars today Kamala them is in debt they're in debt brothers and sisters because they decided they want to use all they're going down to zero but they must have overshot it right there when it comes down to the campaign and they are 20 million dollars in debt today where is 1.4 million but that's not the point right there the point here is they raise a lot of money to do a lot of things just like when you hear they raise you know, much funds in Dominica to do more things the people decided, oh, they brought, they raised a lot of money. They brought celebrities. They brought all kinds of people to try to entice the people to vote for them. But at least, thank God, a lot of people were not fooled by that married brothers and sisters. You know why? Because they were feeling it. Nobody had to come and tell them. They would show up to the meetings and those kind of things, there, blah, blah, blah. But nobody had to come and tell them that they're facing high inflation. They cannot... Um, they cannot buy food, they cannot, gas prices high. They, nobody had to tell them these things. So they brought all these celebrities and the kind of people there to try to entice them. No, oh, vote for me, we'll make things better, even though you are the one in office. I, that's one of the things I find very strange. Scary is in office asking the people to give him, an, in, in, give him another five years so he can do better. He has been there for 20 years. And from the begin, beginning of the first year to the 20th year, brothers and sisters, it has been worse. <laughs> it's getting worse every time. The man build a tarmac for a runway, brothers and sisters, and come in and talk about the labor is working and people that have jobs. He come in and say, I think he said in the delegates conference or whatever conference that he have right there, talking about why people asking him if there are factories. Why there are factories in Dominica? He talking about electricity, the very electricity that they take over. No, but <laughs> all you. Or you be tripping, man. No, or you not tripping again. Or you tweaking, bro. <laughs> or you tweaking, man. <laughs> Somebody have to convince you that what you really. Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts. Right, these are just my thoughts on the matters. I could be right, I could be wrong. What are your thoughts? Let me know your thoughts in the comment box below as well. It's about me, Slicks, once again. Be real. Salute the king always. Be positive.